So in this video, I want to discuss why I think that social media marketing is safer than a nine to five job. What's going on guys? So for those of you that are new to the channel, my name is Joshua Daniel George. I run a social media marketing agency and alongside that, I also, I am the host of Lifestyle Design Mastery where I basically teach people how to start their own social media marketing agency, uh, earn money online and then live life on their own terms. In terms of this video topic itself, um, this was not entirely my idea, so can't take all the credit for it. Um, this video was, or the video idea, you know, the title was posted by another YouTuber called Montel Gordon. Saw his YouTube title, got interested, and thought, you know what, I'll actually give my take on it. So, um, basically, the reason why I think social media marketing has saved their 9 to 5 job is because you decide your income. Now, uh, basically, if you have a regular, let's say you've got a regular nine to five job and you are in a uh, 2,000 euros, pounds, whatever, a month, okay? And you then, all of a sudden, you get uh, sacked off your job, then you've got no income at all, you know, that's it, your income is gone. Whereas with social media marketing, let's say you've got two clients both paying you a 1,000 a month and you lose one of those clients, then, you know, it's up to you basically to earn, you know, to get another client and get back to in 2000 a month. But it's not as difficult to get um, a new client as it is to get a new job because getting a new client is basically completely in your hands. All you need to do is do more outreach, you know, get on more sales calls, show people what you're worth and then you'll land a second client. Whereas if you are, you know, applying for a new job, you are not in control of any of the variables. You know, if there's no jobs available, then you know you are out of a job, um, and you can do as much, um, you know, applying for jobs as you can. But if there's no jobs out there, then you know there's nothing you can do about it. Okay, so I basically, just mentioned uh, two factors in one there. So the first one was obviously um, you have got control over the income with social media marks, and if you want to be earning four thousand a month, you don't need to work 80, 90, 100 hour weeks to you know to to, to hope to get that promotion or anything like that you can just work out okay how many how much money do i want to earn a month how many clients do i need to earn that let's say you know the average client is a thousand a month you want to earn four thousand a month okay well then you can just land or you, you know you need to try and land for clients which is much much easier than hoping that you get that promotion and you know that that, that your boss sees that you're working hard and all stuff like that and then the second point was obviously um you know getting sacked so if you get sacked off your nine to five job um, it's much much harder to get a new job whereas let's face it you know you're not going to sack yourself or you are the owner of your social media marketing agency and you are not going to sack yourself you're not going to fire yourself or tell yourself you know you're out of job because you know you are responsible for how many clients you land you're responsible for most of the business process when you're starting out and you know it's basically up to you so whereas a lot of people say you know uh, office job is safer i'm not so sure about that because at the end of the day, you can get sacked off an office job, whereas you can't get sacked off social media marketing. You can lose a client, but you can always land another client as well. It's completely up to you how many clients you have, how many clients you maintain, and you know uh, how much money you earn with social media marketing. And another important thing about social media marketing, about earning money online in general, is the triple freedom concept. So basically, triple freedom means that you've got freedom of time, freedom of location and also financial freedom. Now the first two are very easy to get, you know, when you're starting your own online business, you know, because when you work online, you decide uh, how many hours you put in, you decide what times you work and what times you don't work so that you've got, so you've got the freedom of time. Location freedom, because the business is online, it doesn't matter if you are in your own bedroom or if you are, uh, let's say you're in a hammock in Bali or in Thailand or anything like that, it does not matter, okay? So you've got location freedom as well because for the clients, they don't care where you are, they don't care if you're in, in Amsterdam or in Bangladesh or in Bangkok or, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter to them as long as they get the results, okay? So they you know, have location freedom as well. And obviously, you know, if you've got location freedom and you've got uh, freedom of time and you're working on the business, you know, you get to that point where, you know, you've got a solid income where you've landed a few clients, you also have financial freedom 
same as well. Now, when we look at a regular nine to five job, you do not have location freedom because you are basically in an office, in an office block. You know, obviously some jobs nowadays allow you to work from home or allow you know um, your, to, for you to decide how many um, days off you take and stuff like that. You know, where basically you know you're in control of how many holidays you take. If you think you deserve more holidays, then you can take those holidays. You know, all stuff like that. Okay, I understand that, but still. You are still, you know, stuck in one location. You are still required to work in an office, you know, behind a desk for, a, you know, a certain period of time every single day or every single weekday. Okay, and also with uh, working a nine to five job, you do not have that financial freedom because, you know, you are still working for someone else. You are still trading your time for money. And yes, you know, there are people out there with a nine to five job that do earn very, very. Uh, very well, you know, they, they are affluent, but still, you know, it's a different type of financial freedom than it is when you are working uh, an online business. And last but most certainly not least is the fact that between 30 to 50 percent of all the jobs available and that exist now will become extinct in the next 20 years. So I want you to think very, very long and hard. Um, about what job you're either currently in or you're studying for or thinking about going into you know just think is that job still going to exist in 20 years from now because chances are with uh, you know with artificial artificial intelligence and uh, virtual assistance or you know just like the rise of robots and digitization and stuff like that you know the chances are that your job will not exist any longer whereas marketing you know okay social media marketing the way it is now might change you know facebook might be uh, completely different in a few years from now or you know vine might come back from the dead and take over and stuff like that but marketing as a you know as a core uh, business model it's been here since, you know, the start of civilization. Okay, maybe not that long, but, you know, it's been here for a very, very long time. And marketing as itself will not go away anytime soon. So, you know, it's marketing is a very, very safe business model to go into. And if you go into social media marketing or online marketing, you just need to realize that, okay, Facebook might not be here in five years. It might be, it might be you know, the biggest thing ever. But, you know, marketing as itself and social media is not going away anytime soon. You just need to make sure that you understand, um, you know, what platforms are popular now, what platforms have got the most attention and what pl platforms are up and coming and make sure that you make the switch in time if that ever happens. Okay, so I hope you got some out of this. Hope this was interesting. You know, it's a little bit more of a different type of video than what I usually do. I usually try and stay away from the whole nine to five job or you know working online work versus working a desk job conversation. Why? Because um, I think it's all an opinion at the end of the day. You know, this was my personal opinion. I have got my bachelor's in business. You know, I've got the uni degree. I'm not a dropout or anything like that. So you know, I've always been a bit in the middle of both these conversations, and just wanted to sh I wanted to share my. Uh, two cents with you guys and hope you you know got some out of it if you want to know more about you know the whole like lifestyle design uh, working from your laptop the whole triple freedom concept anything like that um, I have a free sort of lifestyle design community on Facebook uh, it's linked in the description box down below so you know if this interests you make sure you um, apply for the Facebook group I accept almost everyone anyway um, and that way you can sort of connect with like-minded people like the video if you got something out of it comment down below what you'd like to see for my channel next subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys in the next one